just a quick, quick, a quick, quick snack. This was a quick, quick snack. <laughs> just a quick, quick slap. Oh, oh, oh girl, girl. Quick slap. oh girl, I felt it, girl. <laughs> Body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins. What's up, Daddy Army? Welcome to another look. Listen, it's a new day. We're here. We're blessed. We're never stressed. And we're so ready to eat, Miss Thing. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Hope you had an amazing weekend. How was the girls doing? Girl, I, today I was on the road and I did not know what to put in my mouth. So, girl, um, I went down south and I got me some Panda Express. Girl, now y'all know we love the um, walnut, um, honey, honey walnut shrimp. And you can't go with, with, you can't go to Panda Express without with, the walnut. You can't go to Panda Express without the damn um, teriyaki chicken, girl. It's a staple. Okay, and we got some um fried rice on the side with some super greens. Listen, girl, I am ready to eat because I is hungry, mommy, and I got a slight headache. Now, Panda Express is a hit or miss sometime, girl. You gotta go when it's hot and piping, girl. When they just take it out of pots, not even that. Sometimes, sometimes it's just, just I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, the chicken teriyaki always is chicken teriyaki in. But uh, sometimes it just don't. Sometimes it tastes better. I think it depends on the okay, hunger. Okay, can we say our grace? It depends on the hunger, carry girl. It depends on the mood you in, girl. I don't know. Sometimes it's just not giving what's supposed to give, girl. Sometimes it's just not giving what's supposed to give. Hopefully it's giving today, girl. D did that feel like work today? We gonna see. Say our grace. God is good. God is great. Let us thank you for food. Amen. Make sure y'all grab a snack and come right on back. Right, dear son. You already know. You already know. Right Make sure you guys are subscribed. Like up this video. And drag the notification bell. Bingy ling a ling. Bingy ling a ling. Ooh, I like, I like that bingy ling a ling here. Very delicate and very moist. Big moat? <sighs> what we going with first? Oh. Oh, you want a piece of broccoli? <sighs> How you doing? Now, Panda Express, girl, before I eat this damn food, girl, when I ask for super greens, I need super greens. Okay, girl, I don't want scantily, um, something scantily thing. I'm up, I'm up. Stop playing with me, girl, and give me my damn greens, girl. I don't even like greens to begin with. Big mouth, biggified. The hell? So when I ask for greens, give me greens. Hmm. What are you guys eating today? Mmm. Comment down below, like you know. So y'all, today's PBO. You can always trust your friends. Are you sure? Alright, let me remind you so. Well, if you call them a friend, you should be able to trust them. Girl, that word friend been been used very loosely in this thing. We gonna see what they say. Um, what am I say? Why are they always giving me numbers? You attract Cultured and artistic people. Oh, girl. Do I trap myself? <laughs> That's cute. Huh, anywho, what y'all eating today? What are y'all eating? I do not like the walnut. Y'all, this food might be done in two seconds because I'm extremely hungry. I didn't even have a banana today. The thing went um Oh, Gary, try this. All I had was a Celsius. Tried the um, they was running another thing and they pick up, pick up that shrimp right there. They had two shrimp left for the other shrimp with the thing in there. And so, why you ain't giving me one, girl? I just realized I forgot because it was in one plate. Then I just give it to you. You see how, how ungrateful people is. <laughs> mm, that's actually not bad. It's a little bit um, peppery, a little a tiny bit. Okay, so I don't know what the shrimp is called, but it had that, um, you see that pepper they put in birria, birria tacos, that red pepper. Oh, the chili pepper. Yeah, it had chili pepper in there. It's, oh, I would buy that. It's a, 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 a tick bit spicy. Maybe if we, if the sauce is more spicy. Who did? Mm-mm. Mine was a tick bit. Then if this was the two last shrimp that was left in the pot, pot with no gravy, girl. Uh-uh, this is too spicy for me. No, ma'am. 
It's really flavorful and good though. I don't know what the name of that shrimp is, but it got chili peppers in there, girl. Chili pepper shrimp. 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 Anyways, what are y'all doing? So, y'all! You're lying. Ain't nobody told me nothing! Betty Army, when was y'all gonna tell me that Sexy Red is only 25 years old, girl? Wow. Well, she's 26 now. How the hell she looks so overgrown? I don't know who look older, she or Lotto. They don't look, they don't look a day over 30. They do look 30, girl. 25? Well, she 26, 25, girl. Who knew? I think with Lotto makeup makes she looks older. Yeah, sexy red, she just look grown. She don't look old. You know, like with them young people that just act grown, girl. That out in the streets, Miss Ning, busting it open at an early age. Oh, so that's why her lyrics, you could tell her immaturity in the lyrics. Right? right? Sexy red girl, bow, 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 bow. All of my stomach, girl. That's 25 right there, Miss Ning. Y'all, so talking about artists or whatever, girl. So, Coachella is going on. When I tell you that Doja Kitty mm -hmm. puts on a show, that's definitely one thing that nobody cannot deny. She is uh, extremely talented. Her, her, uh, her artistry. Girl, when she puts on a show, she puts on a whole production, everything. Okay. One more. <laughs> okay. When it comes to performance, Vocality and delivery and choreography. Nobody has seen her. The production. She is right next to Beyonce when yes. it comes to live performing. Mm -hmm. Because her voice. Also the production. Because while I was watching the production and everything, it gave me like how Beyonce would do her production. It takes a special, a special artist to be able to perform live, singing live. The, the, the vocal of it all is very clear as she's pronouncing everything. She sounds amazing and then she's dancing like she's not even. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. The whole concept of the performance, the outfit that she changed into, everything, the lighting, everything was just perfect. Now, that's somebody you want to go see on tour. And the guy, I know the guy that did her here. You always know somebody that do somebody here, girl. He's the same one that do Kelly Rush around that here. Jay. Girl, does he do Beyond, um, Brandy here too? His name is called Jay Stay Ready. No. Calm down. Because I know you was going to throw some Brandy it's in there. Here, here. His name is Jay Stay Ready. He does Kelly Rollins here. Oh! The one that look like Kelly. The one that have the long hair. Oh, yeah. He's cute. But, yeah, y'all. Mm-hmm. Don't you could have did that. And she put on a whole show... She changed like 50 million times. And then that, She's that girl. That mud pit that she did at the end, she was in a mud pit. Okay, so the mud pit part girl got me ba baffled, right? She doing her thing. But all I could think about is like a yeast infection girl and all that mud, mud just wobbling around like a pig. Do you get a yeast infection? No, I'm saying when that muck, when that mud get in betwixt the arm, um, sugar walls was thin. Up, in, up, up into the Punjabi lips. Ain't that a health hazard? Girl, I'm just saying. Unless, she, as soon as she got off stage, there's a big, like, shower backstage. She just jump in and wash off. Or she just do the towel. Either way, girl, she needs to go check for, um, um. You know what I noticed, though? She has a nice body, but her butt looks like she altered it. Her <laughs> butt looks like she, yeah. Mm. It looks a little bit altered, but it looks good, though. She looks really good. Mm. Yeah, she looks really good. Apart from that, Victoria's Monet performances was really good too. Mm hmm. Y'all yeah, already know she performed. And Chloe's um, performance was really good too. Oh, yeah, Chloe. And I love Chloe's new song. That song is really cute. Girl, in the car? It makes me want to get a Jeep. Some kind of convertible where the top go off, girl. Oh, girl. It makes me want to get a Jeep. Makes me want to get a Bronco. I didn't say a Bronco. 
<laughs> if I had the money, I would get a Bronco. I like the Bronco Jeeps. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the girls be doing that thing at um in there. Oh yeah. Please do me a favor, please. Ready Army, I need y'all help. Can y'all please knock on your neighbor's door? And, and, and just relay this message, girl. It's a PSA. When y'all in Publix, okay? The store, in public. When you in Publix, in public, girl, or Target, or Wally World. When we in the line waiting this thing to go cash out at the self-checkout, girl, or wherever we is, girl. Can y'all give me 50 feet? Yeah, I don't understand why people do that. It's so annoying. First of all. First of all. Let me finish because I started All first. right, when you done. Second of all, when he done. First of all. Why is you all up on me, girl, breathing down my neck, girl? You up there speaking your foreign language, Miss Thing, and all I can hear is you in my damn earlobes like a damn Q-tip. <laughs> Bitch, where is where is common courtesy? Where is your cool? It's a double C for me. Courtesy and cool. Uh, <laughs> who raised ya? First of all, you see that I'm I'm a certain length from the person in front of me. They don't care. And the thing is, and anytime someone do that, you know what I do? I turn sideways. And the thing is, when they um, when the person in front of me moves. I go, I move a little bit because I want to stay away from that person. But you still, I literally take two steps. You can remain where you at because it's just a little space in between us. No! You got to come up and itch up under my bumbaras. And then y'all want to speak in y'all foreign language, Miss Thing. Like y'all talking on the damn intercom, bitch. One of these days, y'all going to get it, girl. I be holding it in. Y'all gotta be mindful of people's space, girl. I know. They're done. What? <laughs> what the? Heck? What? They're done. Harry. It... <laughs> girl, I was hungry. I told you. Listen, y'all gotta be mindful. Double C, courtesy and cool. Keep your eyes over there, please. I'm not even looking to onto your place. Cause y'all don't have no privacy. Like, who raised y'all? But now that you mentioned it, girl. <laughs> who raised y'all? Now that you mentioned it. Stop. <laughs> Girl, you better eat that. Uh, 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 um, 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 right so. um, what was I saying, girl? I forgot, girl. Carrie, you take over, girl. That you. was actually good today. Was it good? Are you because the moving? last time I had it, I had it for lunch, and I only had vegetables and um, teriyaki chicken. And I don't know if I because I was too hungry, and I had it. I, 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 I it when it was too hot. You know, sometimes they gotta make food cool down a little bit. Yeah, sometimes when something is too Especially hot, Especially with the green, you don't taste the flavor. Yeah, sometimes. it's because you was hurrying up. It's not because it's because you not was sitting down like this. But yeah, y'all comment down below. Let me know if y'all is that a big pet peeve for y'all. I already don't like people that I don't know. So I'm in public, girl. A uh, girl, y'all give me social anxiety, girl. I am over here hyperventilating, girl. You all up on my ass, girl. Speaking in your foreign language, Miss Thing. And y'all, it's just like y'all don't care. I know that the, the, the panoramic is over, girl. I know that the panoramic is over, girl. The girls are not wearing no masks no more. But y'all just, it's, it's just about common courtesy and personal space. Okay, girl. Now, if you get hit upside the head, Miss Thing, it's because you wasn't in your zone. And when I say zone, I don't mean out of zone. I mean in your lane. Give me 50 feet, please. I would like to see it. Now, when I bring out Pookie and them, girl, you're going to hear, oh, girl, get up. Oh, child, get up. So, what's been going on? Y'all, y'all haven't gotten a video from me because I just haven't been in the mood. Oh, by the way, check out my channel. I have a new video. Oh, yeah, he got, you did a mobile? Yes, girl. Girl. Gary, it was just a quick, quick snack. A quick, quick snack. Just a quick, quick snack. Okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> what is going Gary, on? Gary, you gotta go try um, um chilies. And it's so funny that the chili the, chi the chilies next to us is closed down. 
The one right there. They locked down. Can girl. you calm down? <laughs> First of all, we've had chilies on this channel before. Have we? I bought it. I bought the sampler with uh, those same egg roll things that you had. The, um, oh, yeah, we had the sampler. Them egg rolls, but it was a long, long time ago. The one I had, girl, it wasn't. I don't like the chilies that was right there, though. I don't like how they their food is coming how like they operate. Yeah, I didn't like that chili. They closed down. They closed down, girl. I'm. When I was searching it, it wasn't coming up, and then I went over there, the whole place is, is locked down. And, and Oh, wow, that's the second um restaurant in that something, because the other one, the barbecue mm -hmm. place that we like, they closed down. I don't know if they're renovating, or it's going if to be I something If I had else. money, I don't know if I would want to go in the restaurant business. It's too much. It's too much. Now, you have to be rich, rich. And I feel like when it comes to restaurant stuff, you can't just... Have a restaurant and delegate people to do stuff. You have to actually be in the restaurant because people going to rob you. Like, and when it comes to the restaurant, center. you have to overpay people because if you want good service and you want them to work. And the thing is with restaurants too, like the food, you got to get a, a really good chef as the food is not going to be persistent. It's going to be consistent. A consistent. <laughs> persistent. Oh, that could go too. <laughs> The thing is, it what? don't matter if you have a good chef. If, if you're dealing with food, it's not always gonna um. It's gonna taste similar, but it's not always gonna taste. Sometimes it's gonna st taste overly good, and uh -huh. then sometimes it's gonna taste underwhelming. It's just how it is. And you know what I noticed with these restaurants in Atlanta, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Like you will go there and you order something, right? And the restaurant be empty. And your food is taking one hour, an hour and a half, two hours. And then when you ask them, they go like, they go reply like, either they go wait or leave. You know what it is? A lot it's of like they don't really care. A lot of these people that work at restaurants or work at, in customer service and stuff like that, they're just trying to make ends meet. They're already underpaid. They don't like the job. They don't care. They don't want to come to work. The hours are long, bitch. So they don't care, girl. Like talking about that. I went they to do not care. I went to pick up an order yesterday from a certain restaurant, right? And when I went in there, um, two people were, two of the workers were at the front by the cashier. So it's two, two cash register they have. One on the left, one on the right, right? But they're pretty close to each other. So while I'm walking in, I see one girl, a light-skinned girl, um, walking behind a, um, the other dark-skinned girl that's at the register. Um, and I see the dark-skinned girl look, look at her like this. Look like they just had some argument, right? Oh, wow. So the other light-skinned girl and this other man, he looks like he's the manager or whatever, on, they're at the other register doing something. So I came in there and I was there for like two or three minutes. And nobody's acknowledging me. So, the two of them just on the um the, the register doing whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. Clicking on the screen or whatever. So, I, um, the one on the right looked like they're busy doing something. Like, she's talking to the manager or whatever. So, I went to the girl on the left. Right? And I'm showing her my phone. I'm showing her, and her my order and saying, excuse me, excuse me. Why she ignore me like she don't hear what I say? I know you fucking lying. So after saying it two or three times, I go over to the other side and I say, excuse me, I have an order. And then she give me an attitude and say, hold on one second. Look like she and the other girl was arguing because when the other girl walk off, she was like to the, to the guy, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it with her. So I'm like, how is that my problem? Then that shit to you. It's so funny because I was on TikTok and I saw a post with somebody saying that people they're making fun of people that do DoorDash and Uber Eats and they basically showing like when they walk into the restaurant like how they come and push the they, they were basically saying which DoorDash are you the one that come and push the phone in the person's face oh bitch listen Y'all talking about how the door dashes are and the Uber Eats uh, people are. The people at the restaurant. Y'all be ignoring the hell out of they us. They ignore. You come and they know that you want um for delivery and they ignore you. It's like you you, you walk in there with an invisible cloak. This, this thing like they can't see you, girl. You, a lot of these places that I go to, I have to walk in there and stand there at least five to ten minutes before I get acknowledged. And sometimes the effing order is sitting it's right, right there. there. The order is right there. All you got, all I gotta do is tell you the name, 
and you gotta hand me the bag. And like, um, this happened to me the other day too. I went into the restaurant and then, and, um, when I, when I went in, she, she, she saw me right away and she was like, hey, good evening, whatever. Uh, what's the name on your order, whatever. And I told her, she said, it's not ready yet. And I'm like, okay. So I stand to the side. Every time I go to the restaurant though, and I have to wait, there's a thing on the order where you mark, I'm not ready. And I always start my timer to know how long I'm waiting. Because right food, we're not supposed to wait more than 10 minutes. So I start my timer. There, 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 I wait, I wait, I wait. People come in, get their order, leave or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, there, there, waiting, waiting, waiting. And I'm like, why are my order's not ready? So, um, she have three orders that they finish over the side right there. So I'm like, this that cannot be my order because I, I told her the name of the order that I have and she already know the name. So that, that can't be my order. She see me stand up here waiting on the order and she don't give it to me. Then they are waiting, waiting again, 10, 10, 15 minutes. Then she gonna ask me, what's the name on your order again? The chef come to the front, what? And then she gonna ask, what's the name on your order again? The order is right there. Bro, really? It's been there from 10, 15 minutes already. And I told you the name and it wasn't even that busy for you to forget the name. I understand that sometimes get busy or whatever, but if I'm standing right in front of your face, Girl, they some be, of them, uh, to be honest they though, don't care. a lot of these workers be at these restaurants and you see them there, but they're not there. Like they zone out because they don't want to be at work. They're underpaid and they just don't want to be there. And then these people at these restaurants, to be honest, they do not care about y'all food. They don't care about y'all orders. Mm -hmm. if, if, if we as a delivery person don't care about y'all food, Y'all will get your food nasty. Let me tell y'all this. Yeah. The way that they throw your food and then they, sometimes the, the seal that they're supposed to put on or something, they put on a seal anyway and, and they don't care. Let me tell y'all this. A lot of times, you see how y'all get your food? That's not how we receive it. A lot of times when you go to these places like Burger King and all those places, those juice that y'all order and sodas, the cups be uh, you have be you be having juice running down the side. We have to wipe it. You be having it overflowed. Sometimes they don't even fill the cup up. You know how much time I have to go back in and be like, nah, y'all gotta have to fill this cup all the way up because y'all not gonna have these people thinking that I'm drinking out their juice. Big no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. And what and you know what they do? They fill it up with ice. And I'm like, if somebody ought to drink, why y'all why y'all feel like y'all should put the drink right here? You know what? Cause you're lazy, cause okay, so you see the 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 the, the um the, the drink fountain? When you go and you press the thing, you know when you're doing soda and it the, the, You have to oh they don't wanna wait till the You place. have to sit and wait till let the 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 fuzz or whatever go down so you see where the level of the drink is and then you fill it up more. They just press it one time and they don't care. They don't wait till the thing go down to see where it's at. Like, girl, this is your job. So when you give me a half cup um, cup to go give to this person, they're going to think that I drank it, girl. And then, girl, where's my... Uh, and then, girl, I don't understand. Yeah, they don't care. So, it's... it's Girl, uh, we out, we be outside doing three different jobs. There's a lot of there's a lot of play that they do not care. And then after you go out of your way to take care of these people's orders and make sure that they get it, girl, they don't care either too. So because they don't understand, a lot of people won't understand. How much shit you gotta go to unless you actually do the job. That's what you understand. So um. I have sympathy for people that work at restaurants, especially fast food restaurants that don't pay. Because I've never been in their shoe, but you could tell that it's stressful. It's stressful, but if I feel like if you would do the job properly, it would be easier for everybody, girl. Instead of making the job hard for yourself. Just do, take care of the order the way it's supposed to be taken care of initially so we don't have to come back and bother you. And also check and use your common sense. Use your common sense. If you are doing an order for delivery, right? Make sure y'all have the, the correct utensils. Make sure y'all have the trays that the drinks can go in. Make sure that if um when y'all sending y'all drinks, y'all shakes, y'all have the covers that cover the friggin' shake and not an opening. Or if you have an opening, make sure you have a sticker that goes through yeah. the opening. Like that too. Um 
Five Guys does that. When you're sending out milkshakes and stuff like that, do not give me a cup with an open, with a open, open like, like the damn Mark Flurry cup thing from McDonald's. Why are there things like open? Like you're ordering something. Why is it open? You're giving this. You're passing it to somebody that's transporting it to somebody else. It has to be covered in this thing. Even if you don't intentionally think it, something you could be in your yeah, car like and stuff, something could drop I, in yeah. there. Yeah, like so, so, simple stuff like that. Like as a restaurant doing delivery, y'all should know. Girl, like I'd be so annoyed. It'd be so much X girl. It'd be so much X girl. I'm like, <laughs> girl. I'm like, girl. That's why at the end of the day, girl, so I'd be like, sometimes, oh Lord, today and, drained me. And that's thing. why, so, that's why, that's why sometimes, y'all, I don't even be want to be vlogging or filming or nothing because. I be have to be going through so much shit, girl, and dealing with and so then other stuff, different too, people, and then and other, other stuff, <laughs> girl, girl. It's a lot going on, this thing, y'all. This year has been doing a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this year is whooping my ass, bitch. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, like, but you know, and on top of that. Girl, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. These allergies be seeing? No. Mm-mm. It's never for me. I'm <laughs> glad you're not sneezing today. It's girl. never me for... Oh, it's gonna happen later on. It's never for me to be sounding like somebody's grandpa in the middle of the night in my room. You know, when you first get up and you clearing your throat, girl, and you... <laughs> I, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't, you can't do it! I can't. I'm too young for this shit, girl. The all this pulling up a thing, girl. Girl, take me back to New York. Take me back to New York and um atmosphere. Well, not really, cause girl. But in New York, I didn't have this problem. All this pollen in, in Atlanta, girl, is getting on my nerves. Anyways, oh yeah. So y'all, let's touch on the um. Since we spoke about um Coachella earlier, so girl, the internet is buzzing with this whole thing between Jaden Smith and um Justin Bieber was saying. Girl. So there's a video of um Justin Bieber greeting no Jaden Smith greeting Justin Bieber girl. <laughs> Social media, y'all do too much. These two young men, girl. They grew up together. They're probably the best of friends. They're probably the, 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 the see each other at the lowest or whatever I'm saying. Why these two men can't love each other without it being some kind of homosexual kind of vibe, girl? What is the, two men can't show each other love, girl? See, that's a problem. That's a problem. Like men can't even show their sensitive side. They can't even show love to the same sex without y'all putting a label on them, girl. Why everybody gotta be gay, girl? Even I'm gay, girl, and I don't think that was gay. Yes, he grabbed him from the back, girl, and kind of groped him, girl. And then uh, Justin kissed Jason on the face. But that, girl, we see straight niggas doing that 24-7 all the time, girl. White people do it all the time. I feel like, y'all, I feel like it's more of, it's partially a homosexual thing. Y'all just don't like homosexual people, girl. That's just how y'all was raised and trained. But it's also a color thing because when y'all see white two white guys grabbing each other ass girl and 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 sh and showing and literally pulling their pants down and skinning out their them body oil and doing all them stuff and playing around with each other girl oh they're just playing around girl it's just two straight boys playing around see that's where my problem kicks in at. oh boy let's talk about it but when it comes to like a black person involved it's just always like girl. I just feel like they was just they just they're just brothers. They've known each other forever. They grew up together, girl. Uh, I feel like straight people play that all the time. Like I feel like I could have a straight friend and I could run up on my straight friend like that girl and we could play around. And it would be nothing. Ah! It could be it could be nothing, girl. Like everything is not everybody is not gay. And like girl. Yeah, y'all see a man uh I have one feminine trait, girl. Or even if a man is very feminine, girl, that don't mean he's gay. Not everybody is gay. Also, oh, so because your baby daddy not paying child support now, he gay, girl. 
Because the man didn't open the door for you, girl. Nah, he gay. Child, I feel like it's just a go-to to everybody's gay girl. At this point, bitch, I'm not gay no more. Y'all see the pig that just flew across? Just a quick, quick, a quick, quick snack. This was a quick, quick snack. <laughs> just a quick, quick slap. Oh, girl. Oh, girl, I felt it, girl. <laughs> oh, let's touch on um. Wait, no, no, one more thing. Real housewives of Potomac. No, wait, before our condolences goes out to um OJ Simpson's family. OJ passed away, girl. You don't care? We don't care oh, about okay. that man. Oh, okay. I mean, he died, don't care. Death is something. Rest um, in peace. Uh, you say the glove didn't fit, girl. Oh, okay. Anyways, yeah, so no, a condolences to his family though. To Chloe, yeah, that's her father. Oh, child. Oh, so that's why, um. But anyways. Wait, 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 that's why um, Kelly Jenner was okay. mad, girl. Because Kelly Jenner done took to Beyonce's internet and she was like, good riddance, girl. What the hell did OJ do to you? Uh, so, so, so Chris really cheated, girl, and stepped with OJ. Did you watch the, um, the thing? Oh, wow. Did you watch the case? Like the whole thing to see? It wasn't the glove didn't fit. I watched the series, but um, he did it. He definitely did it. Well, girl, he dead now. But anyway, so that's why uh, Caitlyn Jenner is mad. Yo, when I tell you the internet is undefeated, the internet is calling Caitlyn Jenner um, Mrs. Dow. Mrs. Dow fire child. <laughs> so that's why she mad because uh, that's Chloe's daddy, girl. So Chris was laying it on, busting it wild with OJ. Girl. Anyways. What you was trying to I do? I forgot. Oh, the, girl, y'all could have kept that. Why did y'all split that reunion into three parts? It, was, it wasn't it was needed, girl. Y'all could have saved y'all production time and money. And can we get a new um host for the reunions? Andy is kind of, um, I need a new voice. Yeah, Andy needs to go. Andy sounds like he got a frog in his throat, girl. Like, like he about to throw up, girl. We he need, needs to go. Yeah, we need somebody and else. And th this, this last episode really pissed me off because it's like, are you even watching the episodes? Because first of all, you sit there while Giselle was blaming Wendy. Like, what did Wendy do in the whole situation? And then me, I go sit there with her face full of potholes, and she gonna say she gonna um act as if Candace is in the wrong when the, that girl was in Candace's face. So Mia, you you mean to tell me Mia, you don't took all that money from that man's girl, but you can't. Girl, oh and yeah. then she have the right, she have the audacity to be commenting when she was the same one who threw the drink in Wendy's face. Yeah, in the first place, how are you telling Candace how to react? To somebody trying to lunge at her and fight her. Like, girl, if you was in the same place, girl, you would have went. I already know you would have went back wild. So how are you going to tell this girl not to, how to respond to somebody trying to attack her? First of all, I don't is, understand. This is not just, just a regular girl. This is the girl who came out with this those bullshit um, allegations about her husband. So you thought she was going to be friendly to this girl? My whole thing is, too, why did production allow? She's not a part of the cast. Why did y'all allow this big bird for the mess? And now if... Oh, so what if it was more poor K? What do you pronounce her name? Kiana? K. 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 <laughs> Kerna. Kerna. Kiana. Um, what if it was more um serious? By like, the way, bring her back. She's really pretty. I like her. She's really pretty. And I like how... I like how she classy... Uh, how she... She um, classy. She responded to Ashley. Ashley is getting on my nerves. Ashley is just like a ear. Ashley is giving me ear ad. She's giving somebody that's just like. <clears throat> it's like, I I don't know. It's just like, girl, I don't know. Even with the whole situation with her husband, it's like she is just like, you're an adult. Get your sh together. So, so, the, um, so Robin announced that she's not coming back, girl. Well, we knew she wasn't coming back, but she officially did it on her podcast, girl. Like, who cares? Bye. Does anybody need anything from public? Girl? Giselle could go too. <laughs> Does anybody need anything so from public? It's official. And what yeah. her name is not coming back. Good. Mecca. Because I didn't really want. Like, Mecca. Whatever. Mecca, Necca, girl. Yeah, why Mecca. 
Girl, well, I don't hear. Why was she on there, girl? Yeah. So, Mecca didn't make it, girl. She's a girl. So, yeah. So, to be honest, I'm not watching next season. because Yeah, the season no was really... And then, no, Candace is gone. And, like, girl, like, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna give Kayerna a, um... What, what they give on that show? They don't give nothing. A Potomac um, a, crown or something, girl? A scene? Girl, and... Y'all didn't even bring what's her name. Did what's her name come out? <laughs> Cherise. Who? Cherise is like, she's not on the show. She came out in one of the episodes. Sharice is on Potomac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why y'all do Sharice? Does Sharice get a check? Do y'all actually pay Sharice? Even though she's a friend of a friend. Girl, y'all be doing Sharice bad, Miss Thing. <laughs> Girl, she could stay. <sighs> oh my God. But and, and talking about that too. Girl. <laughs> so they did somebody some of the girls went to the Pink Friday tour. The whack the whack crew went to the Pink Friday. Girl, the, the girls that that girl, Candace wasn't there, Wendy wasn't there, and Karen wasn't there. It seems like Nikki don't like Candace. And those are the three people who 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 um matter. Yeah, why was Wendy there? That was just so whack. All of them was so whack. Like girl. <laughs> Oh, when, they, was, was when, when they went live, I'm like, Nikki, girl, why? Why you went live with these people? I'm done. Anyways. But anyways, guys, this meal was cute, girl. They felt like working today. It didn't taste bad. It was just a quick, quick snack. Just a quick, quick snack. So this is going to be a recurring thing? A reoccurring thing? The, the meal? No, the quick, quick snack. Because oh. I definitely will give you a quick, quick slap. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> and this will be a quick, quick wrap. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> McDonald's? A bean, a bean, a bean. That's all, folks. Anyways, guys, we love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a comment down below, because you're a hoe. And yes, make sure you go check out my channel to see my video. And Carrie had a video before that girl. So go watch Carrie. And y'all, uh, stop playing with me. Get me to 10K right now. How am I not at 10K yet, girl? How am I not at 15K? Oh. <laughs> How y'all gonna make life of Carrie, girl? Give me, give me a run for my money. Life of Carrie's more persistent. Give me a run for my money. Consistent. Give me a run for my money. Anyways, y'all. Give me the 10K right now, girl. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Anyways, my body feels um, tired for some reason. If you got far, this far to the video, girl, hashtag a quick, quick snack. It's a quick, quick snack. Hashtag a quick, quick slap. And this is how y'all gonna do it, okay? Write the first quick in regular, then I need it in all caps. The second quick in all caps. And then you can put the snap, snack in a back in regular girl. They're not going to so, do that, girl. So a quick, quick snack. They're not going to do that. A <laughs> quick, quick it. snack. They're not going to do that. A quick, quick snack. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Love you guys. Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.